Do you know the mystery buried beneath the arid Saharan sands? The Sahara horizon is entirely made of sand as far as the eye can see. You can get lost in this enormous yellow furnace of blazing sand and heat without any sense of direction. Over the course of ages, the shifting sands of the Sahara have engulfed towns, animals and humans. The Sahara is the largest hot desert in the world and likely no one will ever find them again if anyone becomes lost in its vast sand plains. Whole armies were known to march across the ancient world and never be seen again. Only now, with contemporary technology, are we penetrating all of the mysteries of the Sahara and there are many of them. Sahara is more than just a desert. Like so many other things, it appears to be something other than what we think it is. So what's hiding under the Sahara sands? Let's find out. The Sahara Desert is the world's largest desert. Along with the famous sand dunes, the Sahara's topography also includes acid mountains, plateaus, plains covered in sand and gravel, shallow basins and deep oasis depressions. The highest point in the Sahara is Mount Kusi in Chad, an extinct volcanic crater that reaches 3,415 meters above sea level at its highest point. The Egyptian Katera Depression, an oasis that is 133 meters below sea level at its deepest point, is the lowest point. There, in the Sahara, the temperature throughout the day can get above 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit, and without protection from the scorching sun, it becomes intolerable. The wind, which was previously scorching hot, suddenly transforms to ice at night when it is bitterly cold. Sahara, which means desert in Arabic, is the origin of the term. Before it was a desert, rivers crisscrossed the Sahara Desert and it was a fertile area of rivers, lakes and waterways. The Sahara Desert was not always as it is today. More particularly, a network of water networks connected the continent of North Africa during the reign of the pharaohs. Lions, gazelles, crocodiles, hippopotami and giraffes roamed freely throughout the steppe environment, drinking from the rivers and lakes and swarming in them. The Nile River and the associated water network made it considerably easier to travel throughout the country than it is today, helping the ancient Egyptian culture flourish for thousands of years. Nomads lived in the eastern desert to the east of the Nile River, both before and during the Pharaonic era. By making it easier to travel to the Red Sea, which was rich in minerals and valuable stones, these nomads helped the emergence of the Pharaonic society. Among the stones and metals extracted from the desert were granite, marble, amethyst, copper, gold and others. The Nile and Niger are currently the only two significant rivers in the Sahara. A significant north-flowing river, the Nile, rises in Uganda's Lake Victoria and then drains into the Mediterranean Sea. It is one of the longest rivers in the world and the longest river in Africa. Niger is the second river. It originates in West Africa to the southwest of the Sahara and flows into Mali before turning southeast via Nigeria and emptying into the Gulf of Guinea. Additionally, the Sahara features at least 20 lakes, although only one of them, the vast but shallow Lake Chad, which is located in the Republic of Chad on the southernmost tip of the Sahara, provides potable water. There hasn't always been a Sahara Desert. The boundaries of the sands have moved over millions of years as the climate altered. Scientists are now focusing on the history of the Sahara in the same way that they can look for prehistoric signs of water on Mars. According to research, the Sahara served as the source of what used to be the world's 12th largest drainage basin. When a river carved underwater canyon was found off the coast of Mauritania, the remnants of the river became apparent. Also discovered were river sediments in unanticipated locations. A satellite provided the last-ditch verification of a missing river's existence. Research is ongoing to learn more about a body of water that may have dried up barely 5,000 years ago. The river is now known as the Tamanrasset River. Under the Sahara, more than only rivers have vanished. What was once an ocean has changed over geological time to become one of the driest places on Earth. There is evidence of the extinct Tethys Ocean in Egypt's Wadi al hitan It is one of the best places, albeit unlikely, to find whale fossils and is also known as Whale Valley. 
These fossils shed light on how whales changed from being land-dwelling animals to ones that lived entirely at sea. 37 million years ago, when the forerunners of contemporary whales perished in the water, their remains were buried in sediment. Their old abode became land as the Earth's crust lifted. Paleontologists are currently studying the 15-metre, 50-foot-long skeletons as well as the marine life they coexisted with. Along with whale bones, big and dangerous shark teeth have also been discovered. In addition, monsters have long lived in the waters. Machimosaurus rex, a 9-metre-long, 30-foot crocodile, lived in what is now the Sahara Desert about 120 million years ago. The largest known ocean-dwelling crocodile is the Emrex. Emrex once lived in what was likely a vast lagoon that extended to the Tethys Ocean. There, it snatched fish and cracked the shells of sea turtles with the help of its enormous head, amazing bite force and short vicious fangs. It might have also eaten the dead bodies of the huge animals that also lived there. It may seem strange that so much aquatic life is being discovered in the Sahara, but the reason paleontologists are finding so much there is that the desert is so hostile to life. Scientists frequently have the ability to just walk through eroding places to get great data because there are no plants or soil to get in the way of them and the rocks underneath. Spinosaurus is the largest carnivorous dinosaur ever unearthed, continuing the pattern of nautical discoveries made in a desert. Spinosaurus, also known as Spinosaurus aegyptiarchus, which lived 95 million years ago, was larger than the more well-known T-Rex, measuring 16 meters, that's 52 feet long, and about 7 meters, that's 23 feet tall. The more well-known adversary Spinosaurus was not similar in the way it appeared or lived. Spinosaurus had several adaptations that have perplexed scientists, including a massive sail of bones that protruded from its back. Spinosaurus is currently regarded to be the only known completely semi-aquatic dinosaur. It wasn't until another group of fossils was found in Morocco that scientists were truly allowed to examine Spinosaurus because the original discovery's bones were destroyed during World War II. Long, flat feet for paddling and nostrils high on the snout that allow it to breathe even when mostly submerged are two characteristics that indicate Spinosaurus lived partially in the water. In the same way a shark's fin chills us today, the enormous sail on its back must have frightened ancient people who lived near waterways. Flight Sergeant Dennis Copping was transporting a damaged P-40 Kitty Hawk to a British base in the desert on June 28, 1942 for repairs. Both the aeroplane and its teenage pilot vanished somewhere along the route. The plane's wreckage wasn't found until a worker in the oil industry stumbled upon it in 2012. The airplane was largely undamaged and had never been touched. Additionally, there was still proof that a parachute had been used to build a shelter. Later, the aircraft was transported to the El Alamein Museum and partially refurbished to mixed reviews. Some said the plane should have stayed in its current location as a tribute to its young pilot. Others believed that the museum's restoration work made the object appear to be a poorly painted model. No traces of Dennis Copping were discovered despite the recovery of the plane. Another unsolved mystery in the Sahara is what became of him. The largest human cemetery in the Sahara was unintentionally discovered by Paul Serino on one of his expeditions in search of dinosaurs. The Gobiro site in Niger, which was inhabited as early as 10,000 years ago, provides evidence of a more lush and verdant environment in the past. Human remains are mingled with those of fish, crocodiles and other creatures. Many of the finds were only protruding from the sand. Around 200 human skeletons were discovered during the course of two years of excavation, indicating two distinct habitation periods more than 1,000 years apart. Both the Kifians and the Tenarians left behind evidence of their existence. Arrowheads, bone jewellery and harpoons that would have been used for hunting in the adjacent waterways were also found. A large number of the burials were remarkably strange. Another man was sitting on the shell fragments of a turtle, while one man was buried with his head in a pot. Maybe we'll never fully understand how these people lived and passed away. 
Not all of the Sahara's mysteries are being revealed. Potable water for agriculture and drinking is desperately needed in the Sahara Desert and throughout the rest of Africa and has been for a very long time. In Africa, famines, unclean, filthy water are to blame for a wide range of illnesses, fatalities and suffering. In Africa, there are more than 300 million people without access to clean drinking water. Ironically, the infamously dry continent of Africa is actually resting on a sizable freshwater reservoir. It has long been known that vast quantities of potable water are present beneath the Saharan sands thanks to current technologies like GIS and remote sensing. We may learn a lot about the history of the area from these pictures of the Sahara. You can easily see how the winds have changed the landscape in addition to the fact that it was lush, fruitful and hiding significant underground fossil water resources. We can see how the Nile has helped Egypt grow over millions of years in the instance of Egypt, where the majority of the material is available. Additionally, it demonstrates how the Nile River has changed course and travelled along several courses over time. Images also reveal that Egypt is composed of two distinct types of stone plateaus. The older one is composed of sandstone that may be found south of Luxor. The younger one is made of limestone and is located north of Luxor. The water of Egypt's five ancient rivers transported sandstones from the south to the north where the remnants of them can still be seen today. Calcium eventually became evident after the water dried and the wind pushed the silicon back. These photographs demonstrate how the consistent winds from the north and northwest have entirely changed the entire Egyptian terrain. Additionally, they provide precise details about the location and amount of these underground water supplies. It's interesting to note that these hidden water reserves are not fully fossilized and are replenished annually by rain. Geologists claim that this is what happened. In the distant past, when the North African Sahara Desert was teeming with rivers, lakes and other waterways, a sudden geological phenomenon occurred. This could have been the result of an earthquake, a sizable crack in the Earth's crust or another geological cause that pushed the Earth upward and forced the waters beneath the desert sand. Egypt's resources were already stated, but there were other hidden gems in the other Saharan nations. The best salt in all of Africa is found in Mauritania's Salt Valley, which is close to the desert surface and about half a meter beneath the sand. The town of Shankit or Chingueti is another fascinating place to visit in Mauritania. Sand had nearly completely engulfed the village, but the persistent people persisted in moving it and have planted palm trees along the edge of their settlement. The conflict involving the village is still ongoing. UNESCO protects this small community and its battle with the sand. The Saharan Desert conceals a vast abundance of natural riches. Geological processes that take place in dry environments as a result of climate result in the formation, improvement and preservation of several mineral deposits. Minerals from ore are leached by groundwater and then redeposited in areas close to the water table. Oil is a great illustration and possibly the greatest of what the desert hides, making the most valuable of all. Libyan oil is arguably the greatest and purest oil in the world, including from the sub-Saharan black gold. Desertification in the Sahara was caused by natural factors rather than by human activities. The Sahara, one of the most well-known and harsh locations on Earth, conjures a melancholy sense of time and fate, of antiquity and a narrative of wonder and mystery. You never know what might be buried beneath the sand. Are there still old civilizations and cultures to be discovered? Definitely. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.